G'day guys, Peter here from Oz Commercial Sewing Machines and today uh, we're going to bring you a quick rundown of the new Jack A2C. Now uh, in Australia this is the replacement for the Jack F4. Um, so we'll go through some of its features and um, then we'll, uh, we'll have a look at uh, the sewing of it. So starting from the motor side uh, You've got the new look um, panel there. You can see it's got the standard um, left and right um, arrow buttons and the plus and minus uh, speed buttons. You've got your program and the S button for um, for being able to saving save your parameters once you're inside. You've got uh, this little red dot here indicates that you've got a thread trimmer is on then uh, at the moment i've got it set for uh, needle down but if you put needle up there's another red dot appears up here so we'll leave it at that and there is your full factory reset you hold that down um, and that will reset all the internal parameters of the machine it's a um, 550 watt direct drive servo motor a standard jack motor now you've got your reverse lever here Okay, quite smooth and then you've got your uh, your stitch length dial you don't have your little button that you have to push up here to be able to move this around it's on a little detent spring underneath so you can quite easily just wind this around to to uh, to lessen it it's easier to push down on the um, on the on the reverse it makes it a lot easier to wind it round. That's quite a smooth little unit that one. Okay on top you've got your standard bobbin winder, uh, thread holder and cutter for the bobbin winder um, and the threading of the machine is pretty much the same as all the other jack machines. You come from your uh, supplied two post uh, spool rack uh, you come down to your first thread guide, three holes again. So you, depending on how slick your thread is, you can use um, one, two or three holes. I'm just using the two as per usual. Um, down to your pre-tensioner. Okay, then down into your main tension unit, up through that thread guide up through the take up lever and down th through the remaining thread guides on the front and then when you get down here it's the standard affair too so I'll try and zoom a little bit okay so you've got that guide then you've got the, uh, the, the needle bar thread guide through to the needle and it threads from left to right and there's your uh, your standard included finger guard okay so um, you have got a lever here to raise and lower your presser foot as well as the knee lift okay so with the lever on the back of the machine that's the amount of lift you get if you want to use the knee bar there's a lot of lift on that knee bar Okay, and you've got your accessories ring here, so you've got two screw holes, so you can mount uh, different accessories on that. Now we've also got down here, this is the half stitch, um, or not a, not a half stitch length, but it's uh, like, depending on how fast, fast you push it, um, 
the needle will either go down or up or it'll do a complete cycle. So we can go through that when I um, do a couple of rows here in a minute. Now it has a LED light as well. Now this one doesn't have the push button adjustable LED light. It is a slider and it's two position. So that is uh, fully on. Now if I push it towards me this way, okay, you lessen the amount of light that you've got or you can turn it off. So you've got a half position and then you've got full light there. That's quite a handy little feature. And this machine does have a wet sump as well. As you can see there, we've got the, uh, the fuel pump and all the, um, the routing for the, uh, for the oil that comes up through the pump. Uh, that's hook oil there. So the hook is automatically oiled. Um, it would be beneficial, um, as in another video that I'll be doing shortly, uh, to go through the front end of the machine in the needle bar area uh, to uh, manually oil the machine just to uh, keep it keep it nice and slick. Now you've got your uh, adjustment there for the amount of oil that's going through to your hook. So it regulates the amount of oil from the pump. Now you can see inside there uh, we've got the wet sump. Okay, you've got your high mark and your low mark for your oil. Uh, this is your knee lift. Okay, there's your sump plug right there. That's how you drain your oil when, you, uh, when you're doing a service. And then you've got your standard up the front. Uh, there's your bobbin case, your bobbin race. Um, it's all in there, so you just pull that and hold it and you pull the bobbin case out. I'll leave it in there for the time being. But that's a quick look at the underside of the machine. It's uh, fairly sturdy, it's all steel, and they run quite smoothly. This is the, um, the solenoid for the uh, automatic uh, trimmer that's built into this machine. It's an added extra that they've put on since the F4. Uh, the F4 did not have a cutter but this one does. So now we'll just go through uh, sewing a few lines and um, show you some of these features in action. So here we go. So it doesn't have uh, an automatic back tack, so we'll be using the reverse lever um, to do the back tacks. Um, now I've got the um, a slow start uh, set up into the parameters so we'll start um, I think it, I set it to about 600 stitches a minute uh, to start the first two stitches and then it'll go as fast as I've got my foot in the pedal but um, it's also set to do at the slowest speed uh, 100 stitches a minute uh, which is quite handy you can start off really slow if you're not comfortable with the machine and just learn how it feels and then you can ease your way into going a lot faster so we'll, here we go, we'll do this line. See now, we'll go through the features of this button here. See, we can go a half. The, the stitch length is what I've got it set to on the stitch dial, but it's just a needle up or a needle down, or if you hold it quick uh, for a little bit longer, you'll do a full. So that's quite handy as well. Or if you hold it down, it'll just stitch away until you remove your fingers. So we'll hold the reverse down. It'll do the same thing in reverse. And then, and then all we need to do is put our heel back on the foot pedal and the needle will come up and the thread will cut. There we go. And then raise the presser foot and there we have okay, a nice row of straight stitch. Now that's the starting end. 
that's the finishing end. And it's not a bad little cut that. So that's the back side. Okay, it does quite a nice, very tight stitch. So if we go down to about half, between zero and one, okay, so we can go, or go and go even closer than, uh, we'll go to a quarter. So. Okay, and that just shows you, as soon as we get some focus here, Okay, that shows you how tight that stitch is. It also showed a little bit of a run on the, um, the motor of the machine and how smooth it is. And that's the back side. It's quite a nice stitch. So I hope this has been of benefit to um, to new owners of this lovely little machine um, and if there's any other videos that you would like us to make about this particular machine uh, feel free to uh, write a comment about what you would like and we can uh, see if it's achievable and um, go from there uh, thank you for watching